Welcome to Coin Shop Liquidators and today's video of the perennial Lincoln Cent. Most coin collectors and investors eagerly fill their collections with beautiful Morgan dollars, Peace dollars, Franklin halves, gold coins, and many other coins. But what about the lowly Lincoln Cent? Well, the truth be told, the Lincoln Cent as a series has outlasted all of them. Originally minted in 1909, the Lincoln Cent is still in production nearly 105 years later. The infamous penny has even worked its way into the American lexicon with sayings such as, a penny saved is a penny earned, or I won't pay you a red cent, or he sure knows the value and how to pinch a penny. The Lincoln cent has endured the test of time. It is still being made today despite the fact that it costs more to produce than its face value, and also it has virtually no monetary value, a testament to its enduring popula popularity among the American people. In 1909, Abraham Lincoln was the first historical figure to grace a U.S. coin when he was portrayed on the one cent coin to commence his 100th birthday commemorate his 100th birthday. The coin was minted to replace its venerable predecessor, the Indian cent. When President Roosevelt, who was very interested in upgrading the image of all the American coins, and a proponent of designer St. Gaudens, saw sculptor Victor David Brenner's bronze plaque of Lincoln, the idea to feature this image of Lincoln on the obverse of the coin was given presidential approval. The U.S. Lincoln cent was then born. A study of three models for the coin's reverse resulted in the approval of a simple design bearing two wheat heads in memorial style, most likely to honor an American's agrarian roots. Between these in the center of the coin are the denomination and the United States of America, while curving around the upper border is the national motto, E Pluribus Ornum, which means one out of many. The country was in a patriotic mood and the coin was very well accepted by collectors and the general public at large. The coin was initially uh, produced in mind-boggling numbers, including 28 million in 1909, along with a small run of 1909 SVDB uh, variants that was then um, discontinued for political reasons, and a staggering 146 million in 1910. The Lincoln penny was also first uh, the first U.S. cent to include the words "In God We Trust." Lincoln is considered by many to be one of the greatest U.S. presidents. He was the 16th president of the United States, serving from March 1861 until his assassination in April 1865. The Lincoln Cent was and is a lasting tribute to our beloved 16th president. He rose from very humble beginnings to the highest office in the country, a man known and revered for his stance against slavery and for his speech at Gettysburg. This iconic coin has been largely unchanged during its many years in service. The original uh, designed by Victor D. Brenner, featured a strong bust of um, Lincoln on the obverse with a, with a reverse um, dominated by the now famous two stalks of wheat. Hence the nickname of the coin, Wheat Sense. In 1959, the reverse was changed to the classic memorial style with a staggering production in the first year of over 600 million, enduring well into uh, 2008. As a collectible or investment media, the Lincoln Cent will more than hold its own. There are many very collectible years in mint marks, with a favorite of collectors, the 1909 SVDB, with a scant mintage in San Francisco of only about 484,000, demanding large premiums to this day. During wartime, the coin had to adapt. A few 1943 coins were struck in bronze on leftover 1942 planchets. These coins today command a huge premium. The balance of the 1943 coins were minted in a now familiar zinc-coated steel. At the time of World War II, the one cent coin was composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc. These materials were denied to the mint for the duration of the war, making it necessary for the mint to seek substitute material. Valuable copper was needed to produce ships, weapons, and bombs for the war effort. After much deliberation, even including the uh, consideration of plastics, zinc-coated steel was chosen as the best, uh, the best material in a limited range. These coins were... Uh, proved to be a bit of a nu uh, nuisance um, in commerce and they were often mistaken for dimes and uh, sometimes even for worn nickels. Since they were magnetic, the steel cents also failed to uh, work in vending machines and turnstiles, so they were rather short-lived. In, in 2009, the coin went through another transition, ushering in a new area of the Lincoln cent. However, the iconic obverse of President Lincoln, first designed by Victor D. Brenner, remained intact making it the longest-running coin type in U.S. history and placing it on the longest-running coin types ever in world coinage. 
I sell a lot of the Lincoln uh, Wheat Immemorial Cents in my store and find there are a great many dealers and collectors that specialize in this series. The coin is further graded into three subsets based on the color, um, tone of the coin, um, and that would be brown, red-brown, and my favorite red. As a matter of fact, most of what I sell in my store is the red Lincoln in MS67. Beautiful and quite uh, valuable coin. Personally, I really favor the uh, Min State 67 Red, largely for its beauty and strong investment potential. It probably won't be long until the Lincoln Sen is phased out completely, so I think this is a great time to add this historic coin to your collection or investment portfolio. If you have any questions, please contact us at coinshopliquidators at gmail.com. That's coinshopliquidators at gmail.com. Our visitor eBay store, you can get great deals on Lincoln Cents and many other coins. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks again for viewing. Uh, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again.